know there are people who take offense now when they are rebuked. They didn't used to take offense when they thought they were nobody until they became somebody. Until they became somebody. How can you talk to me like that? The issue is not what you are saying to me. It's the way you are saying it. It's not even what you are saying to me. It is, it, is, it is where you are saying it. How can you say it in the presence of who and who and who and who? The issue is, look at this. Remember, all these emotions and the way you are feeling and the, what you are saying. Because these things you are saying um, will also lead you to a certain company. Because... When, when you have the right company, they'll tell you, hey, don't talk like that. What is it? Ah. Then something in you will keep moving you away from those people because you are looking for somebody that is going to agree with you. All of a sudden, your life, you'll be introduced now to a certain kind of people like Rehoboam. Like Rehoboam. Who left the advisors that worked with his father, that worked with his grandfather and chose for himself younger men who will agree with his own agenda. Prepare your heart to serve the Lord. Prepare your heart to serve the Lord. Look, look inward. Look inward. Look inward. Look inward. Rehoboam had great promise. Through the reign of David and the reign, you know, the Bible talks about David, how he prepared so much for the house of God and how Solomon walked with such wisdom and such prosperity. You just imagine David came and fought, fought so much, fought, 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 killed, 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 until there was peace on every side. Then Solomon showed up with great wisdom, no war, no war all through his reign. All you just had was enormous prosperity. The Bible says that this prosperity was so much that silver and gold was like stones. Stones. Silver was not accounted for as a precious stone. Then Solomon died. Then Rehoboam, imagine just inheriting this wonderful heritage. If you were watching this, you'd be waiting to say, my goodness, Rehoboam, go, go, go. What a flop. By the time Rehoboam was done, the nation was split. You, 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 maybe in subsequent services I'll read to you the prophecy that was given to Rehoboam. He says the nation was torn from his hands. Torn! When you study it, you, you begin to see it didn't have to happen. There was no preceding prophecy that Israel was at any time going to be split. I, did, I, I, I look and I see, I, I look through the scriptures and I don't see any significance of that nation being torn. Because even though there were two nations eventually, God never saw them as two. God always looked at them as, as his people. He never saw them as two because of a heart that was not prepared to serve God. Listen, if this is the thus said the Lord to us in 2021, brothers and sisters, it's time for you to do a quick internal vocal Who understands what I'm saying? You begin to do it. Do a health check and be determined. Be determined. Paul says, none of these things move me. Look at Paul. Paul. Paul was so prepared to serve the Lord. He started naming things. He started naming things. He said, what is it that can separate us from the love of God? Then he begins to name. Is it, is it life? Is it death? Is it angels? Is it demons? Then he named all those things and says, listen, 
none of these things can move me. The things had not happened before he started talking about them. You, you, you can't imagine how many people have walked away from God's path for them just because of offense. Offense. You come to the church, Usher says you cannot sit there, you sit here, he says Usher is marking me. You're offended. The next time you're coming, the Usher actually marks you. Because the Usher thinks you are disturbing his ministry. As you're coming, he looks at you. You cannot sit there, you have to sit here. Stands by you and wait for you. The other person is saying, this devil, this devil, you cannot tempt me. And after a while, three weeks after, you stop coming to church. Suddenly, you've walked away because your heart was never prepared. Never prepared. In all these things, we are more than conquerors. My heart is fixed. Fixed. There's nothing you can do to offend me to the point I'll walk away from God's predestined path for me. That you're not owing someone don't mean you are fine. You're not owing anybody, but you can't help anybody. You can't help anybody. You can't do nothing. All your debts have been paid. But you are not leaving. The Bible says they who receive the abundance of grace. The abundance of grace. The abundance, some received grace, they didn't, they've not come into the abundance of grace.